Welcome back everyone to It's Not Easy Being Green Screen and here we are with Shadow Warriors on the Amstrad CPC of course developed by, published should I say, by Ocean of course originally developed by Tecmo on uh, the uh, arcade platform which was originally called Ninja Gaiden or Ninja Gaiden whatever you want to pronounce it like Ninja Gaiden I'm going to call it Ninja, Ninja Gaiden I think I always did but for some reason in Europe uh, at the time in the uh, 90s, early 90s, late 80s, uh, the word ninja wasn't allowed to be used so much because um, I don't know some political correctness nonsense. It was something to do with the uh, safety of something. Uh, anyway, we're all over that stuff now. Well, according, to, uh, well, we're, we're ninjas we are anyway. But hey, let's get back to the game, shall we? So yes, this is a, a typical sort of ocean. Uh, arcade conversion in fact it's uh, trying to really lean heavily towards the arcade uh, format uh, the arcade style and look and with looks it certainly does do that plenty plenty color going on loads of color the enemy sprites look good the hero sprite Ryu looks pretty good uh, the flip move is there the punches and kicks are there you can hang on the posts like this you can't actually kick people very well it's very difficult to control in lots of ways this um, but hey let's stick with the visuals for the moment because that's what we're here for and to see what happens when the green comes down the sheen of green and it's lovely coloured. I think the graphics on this are rather beautiful. Uh, it's another one of those Amstrad games where in stills looks amazing, but of course in gameplay the story is a little bit different. The game screen is extremely small for starters. It's almost like half the size of the screen. Um, that's how tiny the game screen is. Really, really small. It's, I boosted it up here, of course, for the video purposes. And uh, there's no soundtrack, unfortunately. There's no audio to it in, in that sense. There's no uh, music on the title screen or in-game. There's a little jingle at the beginning of every level, and that's all you get music-wise. It does have effects, punch and kick sounds, and, of course, lovely explosion effects, in fact. You've got to give kudos to the explosion effects. Um, they're not bad. Uh, the controls are very fiddly in this. Very awkward, very fiddly. The collision detection is pretty much... Oof. It's very random. Uh, if you're trying to do the, the jump throw, sometimes it looks really nice and sometimes it's completely random. Uh, the enemies, uh, once they, but basically once the enemies hit you, you can't actually move, so you don't want to get hit at all. Because the moment you get hit, you've lost an energy bar. That's it. Because um, they'll just not, they'll keep hitting you like this guy here, and I'm down. Oh no no, I've got to escape. Oh look at that, <laughs> I really escaped. You also have the, uh, the, the sort of like street furniture exploding, which is again a nice little adage from the arcade. So it's a fair, it's a fair adaptation. This um, okay, gameplay wise, it doesn't really hold up that well. It's a bit finicky, a bit frustrating, and a bit picky. And the game screen is very small, but the visuals look great. But they only look great in color. Uh, I don't know what they look like in green. Uh, we're going to find out in a minute uh, because it's a, uh, take a moment to absorb this colour. There's a lot of it going on. I'm going to jump off here, sod it. Let's go to green, shall we? Let's pause the game and flip the green on. Give us a second. Oh look, mid jump, nice pause there. Here we go. Oh my god, god. Oh, sh oh sugar, hang on a minute. Um. Ouch, this is really painful on the eyes for starters. Okay, so I'm going to really concentrate on uh, where my ninja guy is. He has lost all definition in himself. He is really, really uh, stealthy now. Uh, cloaked in a sheen of green. His cloak ninja garbs of green. Now the enemies, uh, they're, they're still quite uh, obvious. You can still see them well. I'm going to give it that, for instance. But there's a lot of clashing going on with the background now. Uh, which is really, really confusing. The main sprite is... Oh, I lost him. Where he was there. Fell off. Oh, look at this. Look at the clashing with the back. Look at the clashing with the back. Um, with the bricks. See, they've got the dark, the dark spots between the bricks. It's just completely clashing with the sprites. Uh, the legs of the dudes are seemingly going missing there. I don't know what anything, any detail is on the floor anymore, if there is anything. We're supposed to be on the pole bit here. And also, I'm just looking at the uh, HUD at the bottom there as well. Um, the energy word has almost vanished. The shading, which goes on some of the words, is there, but kind of not there. It doesn't look very pretty. Uh, the energy bar just doesn't look very pretty at all. That looks a mess. I don't know what's going on now. That is a complete sprite jumble of a mess there. This guy, 
I, did I jump to... Oh, I just jumped up to the second platform there and didn't even realise I did it. Okay. Can't work out exactly... Ah, right, some light at last. Goodness me. I have jumped off. Whoops. Can do that. So the bright green in the background there, that's that's a little bit a little bit more welcome, should we say. But uh, I can... I'm finding it... Because because you've got a lot of shading when it's in colour, a lot of a lot of effectical shading to give the sort of, you know, the, the, the perspective of depth that's being lost in green. With the monotone, it's just... It's just lost. Oh, is he, is it, I thought he was going to kick me off the side there, but he didn't. And the dark door at the back there where the Guardian comes out. Uh, let's just cap this glued off. No, I'm facing the wrong way because I didn't know what way I was facing there. Completely lost my... Yeah, it's very easy to lose where I am, where you are, uh, because I can't see my sprite that clearly. Okay, let's kick him off. There we go. Right, the Guardian comes out. Big, fat sumo dude. There we go. Let's kick you or throw you or something. Where did he go there? Bloody, what happened there? He teleported. Well, that's to do with the game's code. That's nothing to do with the green screen. Okay, he's actually all right in green. He lo he looks, um, yeah, he looks all right. He, he that's pretty well drawn and just, just the, your main sprite, your sprite is completely sort of lost after time because he's drawn in lots of shades of blue uh, in color. The green just hasn't been hasn't been kind on him at all, and uh, it should, it just becomes a mess, doesn't it? It becomes a complete sprite mess, um, clashing, clashing and merging with the background, merging with the enemy sprites. <clears throat> Particularly merging with this dude's diaper, for example. Come on, kick him in the balls. There we go. Right, let's see if we can actually beat him and get onto the road level at least. That uh, should be him done. No, 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 one more hit. There you go. Right, move on to the second level then. Let's move on to the road level. See what that looks like. Good grief, that's, that's tough to play. That is tough. To oh my god, look at that floor looks a complete mess. Ah, oh god. This game really, really does rely on its colour to sort of keep its uh, keep its eye-catching properties going, doesn't it? Let's try and jump over then. Let's get over the... Uh, oh, nearly! No. Right, okay, look, look, the, the ground is extremely dark there. I can't make that out at all. There were some enemy sprites there, but I cannot make it out. And the background at the top, up, top part of the uh, level here, very, very dark green. Can't really see what's going on. Um, where am I now? That was a mess. Got run over there. Um, yeah, this this <laughs> the green screen on this degrades the game very badly, um, and it was basically hinged on its graphics in the first place. You take the graphics away, and oh my god, this becomes a very painful game to play now. Can't see much, and I think I'll call it a day there. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Shadow Warriors, and I'll leave you with the loading screen. Novabug out. Hey, Novabug here. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please support the channel by liking and commenting, and of course subscribing if you haven't already done. If you would like to support me further, please consider joining my bug army via Patreon. And also don't forget to follow me over at Facebook, Twitter, BitChute and Twitch. And finally a very special mention to my bug army generals, Sam M, Sweet Nanook and Craig Harrison. Thank you everyone for supporting me. Novabug, out.